Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm It's Ross 9, this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing another Arrow episode from Season 2. And that episode is called The Man Under the Hood. And I'm going to try to read like this. So we start off the episode where Oliver breaks into Queen Consolidated's lab. It's one of their, um, f uh, excuse me, buildings. And uh, they're blowing it up because, um, so the reason why they do that is because um, they have, if, they have, um, they know about a bunch of projects in there that they need, that Slade needs, and since he has access to the company now, they're going to blow up the entire Applied Sciences Division, which is a very smart move, and um, Oliver kind of feels bad about it, and literally, uh, Oliver presses the button and it just really goes kaboom. Which is it's very interesting um, watching him do that because he feels kind of bad about it because it is technically his company, but since it's a little bottom up, bottom out, and overtook everything, she um, he decides like it's just for the greater good to do that. And then we go to Laurel, and she has all the pieces pieces together because in the last episode, for people who are just watching this, uh, Slade Larry told um, Laurel that Oliver is the arrow. So she's starting to put the pieces together. And then uh, we go to um, is an Isabel scene where she's talking to Oliver or to, she's talking to somebody and it turns out Isabel dated Robert Queen, which is so crazy. And um, so yeah, that, that was a bombshell of what? <laughs> And then go to a flashback scene where Ivo says he can turn Slade back because there's a cure to it. And then we go to the present where Slade destroys the hideout, the Team Arrow hideout. He literally destroys the shit out of it. He like goes insane in there. And then we have Laura who's making even more sense of things. She's starting to add even more pieces together and she's starting to draw all these conclusions. Like, oh, okay. And then um, you have Thea being a bitch, which is on par for her on season one level of being a bitch. And then um, turns out the um, after they find out what was missing, they find out it's actually the skeleton key, skeleton key that's missing, and that's probably the most lethal thing that he could steal because it literally opens any lock in the world. Um, it's just going to open any type of code, any type of website, any type of bank, any type of combination. It's going to work 100%. And then we have Cisco and Caitlin intro. And it's like a division of Star Labs. It's kind of like the Star Labs intro um, to the characters and to the division in Star Labs, which is just currently shut down because of the whole Star Labs um, fiasco. So, um, so that happened, so now, so Slade, what he, uh, gets what he needs and it's another centrifuge thing where, like, you have a host that can shoot mass amounts of blood at the same time. So he needs that for something that's probably going to be coming up in a later episode, so I'm not going to spoil it. So, but uh, Slade gets what he needs, and then Laurel follows Oliver, and they'll go to a flashback scene where Ivo gives them the information for the antidote, and then the boat is on the freighter in its cabin. And then we go back to present day where um, Isabel drops a bomb. Robert knew about Malcolm Merlin being Thea's dad. She, uh, he already knew that. And... Um, it's like, what is happening? And then, because um, they were planning to run away together, then Tia hurt her leg, and Isabel, as a reminder, Robert, that's not your kid. So that's like, what? <laughs> so that was crazy. Then um, then we cut to where um, Quentin Lance gets beat up in the, hot, in the prison because he got arrested in the previous episode, so he gets beat up. So um, Laurel, again, threatens the DA again and uh quinn got released He's, they said we'll release him in them in the hour so then they find that the transfusion is online and, and they figure that out because that it is like a 
powerful, powerful surge in electricity. So that's how they find it. And it's creepy as crap. It's just so creepy. It turns out Roy is the guy in the center. And they have a really good fight scene between like Deathstroke and Oliver and everybody else. And Diggle shoots Isabel, um, Isabel. They just shoot her, and then they get a distraction. And then we have the flash, flashback scene where Oliver uh, shoots Ivo because he was dying anyway. Um, they showed that like some of the radiation blast hit him, and he was dying anyway. So. Um, then we go to the present where Oliver tells Thea about Robert knowing, and then Thea just leaves the house. And then Felicity asks Cisco for help on trying to get an antidote for the Mirakuru. And then Isabel is actually still alive because uh, she got put um, through the, trans the, the fusion thingy, tr centrifuge. And she's actually alive. So, yeah. Crazy episode. So, um, I really, really like this episode. But let me tell you something. That freaking uh, thing they used when they had all the people around with the centrifuge, that was creepy as hell. I was like, I'm going to have nightmares about this stuff. Uh, I am going to have some nightmares. But anyway, great episode. Great acting. Uh, nice plot twist. I really do like the plot twist. For people who don't know, I mean, Isabel um, really was dating Robert, and then um, he already knew about Malcolm being Theo's actual father, and not him. So that's kind of crazy, to, you know, find all this out. So, um, like I said, really good episode. I really liked it. I'm gonna give this a plus, and I think that's it for me. So, um, if y'all like this video, give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.